Hey everyone, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. Bill Gates, as I'm sure all you guys know, is an incredible entrepreneur. He was the founder of Microsoft and of course, is one of the richest people on this planet. So it's clear, despite all the conspiracy theories about Mr. Bill Gates, he's a pretty smart guy. So in this video, I'm gonna to reveal to you guys Bill Gates top 10 stocks. So these are the stocks that Bill Gates has been buying in the past 12 months. So we're gonna dive into his live trades and I'm gonna reveal them to you guys. But before we embark on this incredible investing journey today, if you're new around here, feel free to join the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. If you want more investing tips and exclusive stock market picks of which I'm investing my own personal money into. And if you do appreciate the value in this video and all the research which has gone into it, then feel free to give this video an early thumbs up that helps out tremendously with the channel. And if you do want to know in real time exactly which stocks I'm personally buying, selling, and access my entire six figure portfolio, then feel free to check out that first link in the description below for the VIP membership group. And of course, you also get access to our thriving VIP community with some of the finest investors on the internet. And with that being said, let's dive in. So let's not waste any time. Let's hop right in to these live trades. So we're here on Guru Focus. I've got the premium plan with this software. I'm not recommending the software to you guys. You feel free to use it if you wish. Um, I've got a link in the description below, but you can basically dive into the trades of some of the most successful investors on this planet. So the format I'm gonna do this with you guys, I'm gonna really just gonna look at Bill Gates's new buys. So I'm not really gonna look at his existing buys or the stocks he's just added to. So firstly, we can see this one here, Voya Asia Pacific High Dividend Equity Income Fund. And this is a new buy. So of course, this is a dividend fund which houses a bunch of Asian stocks. So we've got Tencent here, the tech giant, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, exceptional company, Alibaba, exceptional company, Samsung, and many, many more. So if you do want exposure to that part of the world, the eastern part of the world, and also gain some dividends, then this Voya Asia Pacific High Dividend Equity Income Fund could be for you. So that's the first on this list, and we're gonna do a countdown. So on to number nine now, and we've got Boston Properties. So this was in Bill Gates September 2020, S1 filing, and this was a new buy. So what is Boston Properties? Well, Boston Properties with a ticker symbol BXP on the New York Stock Exchange is what's called a real estate investment trust. So as stated here, this is a real estate investment trust that invests in office buildings in Boston, Los Angeles, New York, and San Francisco, and Washington, DC. So the company was founded in 1970 and has over 2.96 billion dollars in revenue. So this company basically owns a bunch of these high valued real estate properties, these commercial real estate properties. It collects the rents from those properties and pays out a large portion of those rents to you if you're a shareholder in this. So basically these rents are paid out effectively as dividends. So if we dive in here, Real estate investment trusts are great if you do like dividends in your portfolio. So we've got a dividend yield here of 3.74%. So that's what you're getting with this real estate investment trust. Of course, you do get capital appreciation on the actual stock price. And we can see, of course, during the March 2020 crash, the, the global crisis hit, nobody was working in offices. And, and of course, many commercial REITs, as they're called, actually plummeted massively. But personally, I saw that as a potential buying opportunity. And so did Bill Gates. So as we can see here, the stock plummeted down 48%. And now it has recovered slightly by around 38%, but it's still really got a long way to go if you look at where it was pre-pandemic. So yeah, this could be a potential opportunity if you do want some dividends in your portfolio and you believe that people will get back to the offices eventually, especially in these major cities. Okay, on to stock number eight, and this is a completely different stock, and that's what I love about Bill Gates' portfolio. It's so well diversified. So stock number eight is Uber Technology. So Uber is a stock I covered so long ago on this channel, really early 2020, before this major bull run here. So I covered it around May, I believe, when I actually did purchase shares in Uber myself. So around $30 per share here. And then it's been on a monster ball run up 72% in the past 12 months. $100 billion market cap, so still could grow a little bit more. 
it's also got various different applications now and it's actually been stated since the whole pandemic happened the lockdown happened this did affect of course uber's ride sharing business but really did create a whole new business for uber and that was its uber eats category so it really did help the uber eats side and that part of the business so i do think that will continue into the future and actually uber is coming out of this in a much stronger position that's my personal opinion so they also own postmates kareem and corner shop incorporate so uber has really got its fingers in lots of different pies so we're going to hop over to the juicy financials for uber we're here on stockopedia it's the platform i use to analyze stocks if you guys wish to check out this platform there's an exclusive 25 percent off discount link in the description below only for you guys the viewers of motivation to invest so yeah check that out and see if it's for you so uber if we dive right in here 2020, they had around $11 billion in revenue, so fantastic revenue. Still an unprofitable company, and that, that surprises a lot of people, but this is a growth company, and what, the, what these type of companies do is they keep reinvesting, reinvesting, reinvesting for growth to scale, 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 and then hopefully their unit economics work out well, and they get to a point where they actually become profitable, and this growth is self-sustaining, so they don't then need access to the public markets. So Uber's steadily becoming more profitable. Its margins are increasing over time, but this is the nature of the ride sharing business it seems quite difficult to actually make money in this space despite uber's large size and even lyft who's also in this space current ratio 1.44 that's okay so that's your short-term assets to liabilities generally around 1.4 is okay 1.5 is okay and um, valuation so price to sales we can't use pe ratio because it's unprofitable price to sales is nine so you're paying nine times the company's sales i think when i first recommended the stock um, we must have been paying probably like four, four or five times company sales. So nine times company sales at the moment. Not too bad. And the real competitive advantage I can personally see is firstly the network of drivers Uber has, which can be used for ride sharing, which can be used for Uber Eats, which can be used for many different applications. So that's the first major advantage in the network. And the second I can see is the major brand that Uber has. So when you think of ride sharing, you think of taxis, you think of Uber. And of course, you may also think of Lyft, but Uber just seems to be the most dominant in terms of brand power. I can see in this area. Okay, on to stock number seven, and this is Schrodinger Incorporated, so another very different company. And this stock was purchased for around $37 in early 2020 by Bill Gates. So if we dive into Schrodinger Incorporated here, this is an American life sciences and materials company founded in 1990 that developed software for computational chemistry and has a pipeline of collaborative and internal drug discovery programs. The company is headquartered in New York, with regional headquarters in Munich, Tokyo, and Bangalore. Revenue of $85 million. So this has a market cap around $5 billion. So to me, that looks like a quite a high valuation already. Um, if we dive into the share price here, so yeah, Bill Gates must have purchased it around this, right at the market bottom. And as you can see, it went on a monster bull run, up 160%, fantastic returns. However, these type of stocks can be extremely volatile and it's down 27%. So again, could be potential buying opportunity. I think you'd have to do a little bit more research into this company because it's in the life sciences industry. Price of sales, as I alluded to earlier, is still expensive. So the valuation does seem quite expensive. 49, so you're paying 49 the company's previous sales. So to me, that looks quite expensive. Perhaps this company's got something major in the pipeline, some sort of some sort of pattern, some major research. So that's something you guys would have to do a little bit more research on yourself. So if we dive into the revenues here, yeah, around $100 million. So quite small revenues really for a $5 billion market cap company. And it's still unprofitable. So another unprofitable company. Current ratio, balance sheet is extremely strong. So plenty of cash on the balance sheet, but current ratio of nine. Sales growth over the past year has been 27%. So this is a high growth stock. Okay, diving into stock number six is Apple Incorporated. And Bill Gates purchased Apple for around $73 per share. Now, I'm not going to dive into Apple. Everybody knows Apple. They know what they do. They know it's a fantastic company. So I'm not even going to dive into it. Um, but yeah, feel free to obviously check up and research Apple a little bit more. Of course, they've got the AirPods now. But they've also been doing a lot of share buybacks. So yeah, there's good and bad with Apple. Of course, fantastic brand. On to stock number five, of course, we have Amazon, the major giant founded by the great Jeff Bezos. Amazon is actually one of my favorite companies 
in the entire stock universe. Of course, leader in e-commerce. They're also the leader in cloud computing with their Amazon Web Services. And they're also working on a variety of new products. Has Amazon grown too big already? And will it find it difficult to continue growing at such a fast pace in the future? As this is now, I believe, a trillion dollar market cap company. But yeah, it's not really a quick moving stock. I'm not really gonna dive into Amazon deep in this video. I've covered it in a previous video. And I'll leave a link for that in the description below if you're interested in my deep dive valuation of Amazon stock. Okay, on to stock number four is Alibaba Group Holdings with the ticker symbol BABA. And this is, of course, the Chinese mega tech giant. And you, and you could basically think of this company as like the Amazon of China. They have a cloud services part of the company and also an e-commerce part of the company. They were founded by the legendary Jack Ma. I do also own some Alibaba in my portfolio. It looks like great minds think alike, eh? So Alibaba, yeah, fantastic company, mega giant. If we dive into the share price here, quite a volatile stock though, as it's a Chinese stock also comes with those, the China risk, as I like to call it. So stock was up 46% and then it was has plummeted down now 27%. So yeah, again, there's been a lot of issues with China, China risk, political issues could be a potential buying opportunity. Now Alibaba has declined. Price of sales, 12. So you're paying 12 times the company's sales. Not too bad. P ratio is just 19. So the average of the S&P 500 in the US is around 27. So you're paying 27 times the company's earnings. In this case, you're only paying 19 times the company's earnings of a really profitable company like Alibaba. So yeah, fantastic company, profitable company, strong balance sheet, fast growth, 36% growth. So yeah, fantastic company overall. There's not really anything bad about Alibaba, apart from the fact it's got this China risk and the political risks involved with that. Okay, stock number three on my list is Alphabet with the ticker symbol G-O-O-G. -O -O -G. Of course, this is Google, the major tech giant again. Bill Gates purchased this stock early 2020, around $1,300 per share on average. I did load up on Alphabet a similar time also. Of course, Alphabet is the leader in search. They also have Google Cloud. They also own Android, the world's most popular mobile operating system. I did a full video on Alphabet, and I'll leave a link for that in the description below if you want to find out more about this fantastic company. It's in so many different areas, even autonomous vehicles. Okay, on to stock number two is Twitter with the ticker symbol TWTR. So Bill Gates paid around $32 for Twitter. If we dive into the share price here, this is another stock I recommend on this channel. Early 2020, you can go back and check the previous videos on that. I did purchase shares and I alerted everyone um, around this point here, I believe. Um, the stock rallied 136% up, so big decline, um, a, big inc um, a big increase, and then now it's declined slightly by around 7% down at the moment. $56 billion market cap. The key question when I invested into Twitter and the real issue with it, founded by the great Jack Dorsey, of course, was can Twitter actually make money from their platform? Because Facebook runs ads and that's why it can keep its platform free and actually make money from it. Twitter does find it difficult to actually make money and monetize its users. And that was the real issue with Twitter. Twitter IPO'd, I believe, here around 2013. And we can see it was around $69 per share. And now it's took over six years to actually regain and actually break through that barrier of around $59 per share. So that could tell you one of two things. The first, it could have been overvalued during the IPO, which I think it was. But secondly, the company's user growth, the company's monetizable user growth was quite flat for quite a few years. And that was the issue with Twitter. And I think there was a lot of optimism baked into the stock. I think Twitter is actually a really interesting company and it has an extremely strong brand. So this is one to watch and definitely potentially invest into. And finally, stock number one on my list is Berkshire Hathaway with the ticker symbol B. RK. So this is, of course, Warren Buffett's investment fund, the world's largest investing conglomerate. Now, Warren Buffett, the legendary investor, he's also a great friend of Bill Gates. So Bill Gates is investing into Berkshire Halfway, exceptional company. Honestly, though, I don't think it's just because they're friends. I think Bill Gates actually sees this as a nice ballast for his portfolio because historically, Warren Buffett didn't actually invest into Microsoft, even though Bill Gates was talking directly to Buffett in the late 90s. And he was saying, and he was saying, I'm the founder of Microsoft. I'm a fantastic company. Why didn't you invest? And Warren Buffett was like, nah, I don't really invest in technology. So I do think this is a purely professional investment. Berkshire Hathaway there, great ballast in your portfolio. It won't really grow as fast as many other companies just due to the size of the company. Warren Buffett even states himself, the company's that large, they have too much cash and not enough investing opportunities. So best you could get, I think, from Berkshire Hathaway, 10 to 15% stable returns. And that's in the best case scenario, I could personally say, with Berkshire Halfway. In the past, they've returned around 20% on average. So I think maybe slightly less, 
moving forward with Warren Buffett's investing firm. But I hope you guys found this video valuable. If you did, feel free to give this video a big thumbs up that helps out tremendously with the channel i'd love to hear your thoughts which is your favorite stock right now what are you buying what you're selling let me know in the comments below also if you haven't subscribed yet feel free to join the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on and like i said previously guys if you do want to know in real time exactly which stocks i'm personally buying selling and access my entire portfolio and join a thriving community of some of the finest people on the internet then feel free to check out that first link in the description below for the vip membership group with that being said thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have an incredible day and i'll see you in my next video invest safe